Every other night, Sundays accepted, the Belfast Steamship Company's passenger motorship, Ulster Monarch, leaves Prince's Dock, Liverpool for Belfast. Here's the sound of her air whistle. <coughs> Coastline's cargo motorship, Hibernian Coast, would give you a sharp shock if you're too close when she sounds a rather harsh air whistle. Quite a different note is struck by the motorship Bison, specially built for the transport of containers between Liverpool and Northern Ireland, and owned by the Link Line a member of the Coastlines group. <laughs> Among the most popular ships sailing in and out of the Mersey are those of the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company Limited. The voices are distinctive, and most of them have three different types of sound signalling apparatus. Here the Manxman sounds first, a triple bell steam whistle, followed by a naval type siren, demonstrating clearly the difference between a whistle and a siren. Another Isle of Man steamer, the Snaith Bell, demonstrates the triple bell type of steam whistle. Lady of Man, built in 1930, the centenary year of the Isle of Man Company, has a majestic voice. Again, a triple bell steam whistle. Inward bound to Liverpool from Douglas on a flood tide is the Ben McCree, about to execute a 180-degree turn to port in order to come into Prince's landing stage. She gives four short blasts to draw attention to her forthcoming manoeuvre, followed by two short blasts, indicating that she is directing her course to port. Approaching the landing stage, she gives a long blast, warning the stage master of her approach. And if you listen carefully, the stage master's reply on a P whistle can be heard, followed by the Ben's short acknowledgement. ship which might well be described as the Mersey's maid of all work is the Mersey Docks and Harbour Board Salvage and Boy Tender Vigilant. She's fitted with a steam naval type siren which sounds like this. <coughs> The pilot launch Petrol is one of two similar high-speed craft employed on Mersey pilotage duties. Here is her air whistle. The modern pilot cutter Arnott Robinson, named after a former chairman of the Mersey Docks and Harbour Board, 
is one of three in Liverpool's piloted service and usually cruises off the Mersey Bar or off Point Linus, Anglesey. Her whistle is air operated. <coughs> The Mersey ferries are renowned for their safety and consistency of operation in this busy tideway. All the old steamers have gone now, and modern diesel engine craft maintain the services. Vessels like the Royal Daffodil II of the Wallasey Corporation, whose twin air whistles give a distinctive note. <laughs> Wallasey Corporation also owned the dual-purpose cruising and ferry vessel Royal Iris, a well-known Mersey craft. Here is her air whistle. The latest ferry on the Mersey is the Overchurch, owned and operated by Birkenhead Corporation. Twin air whistles again, striking yet another note. Here's something quite different. The sand suction dredger North Star of the Norwest Sand and Ballast Company has a three-tone chime air whistle which gives this unusual sound. Ship handling tugs are an essential part of the Mersey scene. Many nowadays are diesel tugs, and here are one or two of them. First, the Alexander Towing Company's North Isle. Followed by the Ray Towing Company's Hazelgarth. One of Furnish with his three tugs, the Rossmoor. <laughs> Last of the tugs is a diminutive Richard Abel, which after some years of towing barges from point to point on Merseyside, has just been sent to the breakers. Here is her single organ pipe whistle. A small steam barge, the Madge, owned by the Liverpool Lighteridge Company Limited. It is quite a distinctive voice provided by twin steam organ pipe whistles. Finally, a familiar Mersey sound in foggy weather. Although it doesn't emanate from a ship, it's an essential guide to shipping. The fog siren at the North Wall Light Gladstone Dock, known locally as the Bootle Bull. These, then, are just a few of the voices of the Mersey ships, familiar to many who travel to or live within earshot of the river and docks of this famous port. They have their own stories to tell and are just as varied as human voices. Perhaps these records will have served to demonstrate just how different they can be.